Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The issue of delimitation and demarcation of the border of Armenia of 1920. The ombudsman and the head of the Armenian office of the UNICEF discussed the problems of children's education in border communities. The project to create the Zangezur corridor contradicts the vital interest of Iran and Iranian expert. Russia and Turkey decided not to provide details about the joint production of S-400 systems. And national conference dedicated to the Dersim is being held at the University of Duisburg, Essen. The disappearance of the arts of monuments will mean an irreversible loss for humanity Vatican news. The 18th Khachaturian International Competition will be held in the cello specialty. Based on the research conducted on September 15, 2021, I would like to introduce you the legal validity of the delimitation and demarcation of the borders of Armenia of 1920. In 1918, January after the ceasefire in Yerzenka, Bolshevik Russia having decided to withdraw its troops from the territory of Western Armenia, published the decree of Turkish Armenia providing for both the withdrawal of Russian troops and a self-determination of the Armenians of Western Armenia before their independence. From the Mudros ceasefire to the decision of the 28th President of the United States, Woodrow Wilson, the issue of Armenia's independence became a matter of international law. The President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian. Read the full material now on our official website. Armenian Ombudsman Arman Tatoyan met with the head of the Armenian office of UNICEF, Kristina Vangat. Tatoyan highly appreciates the active cooperation with the UNICEF in the field of children's rights protection. During the meeting, the parties discussed the protection of children's rights in border and border villages. As a result of the last war, in particular issues related to the realization of the rights to education, Arman Tatoyan presented violation of children's rights, in particular violation of the rights to education. He noted that in some areas, as Azerbaijan armed officers are located to close proximity to schools, which is an absolutely unacceptable situation and contradicts international requirements for the protection of children's rights. During the meeting, the importance of further cooperation between the two institutions in the field of protection of children's rights was noted. Iranian expert Jana Vartanyan on Sputnik Armenia touched upon the statements of Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi about the tension on the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. In his opinion, in connection with the recent tensions on the border, Iran will continue to promote its position according to which it strongly opposes changing the borders of the countries of the region. Iran has repeatedly stated that for it, the red line is immutability of the borders of the countries of the region, in particular Armenia. Iran has stated this more intensively in recent months, when the Iranian-Azerbaijan relations have become quite tense, the Iranian expert noted. Russia and Turkey have agreed not to make any statements about the joint production of components of S-400 anti-aircraft missile system. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said this at a press conference in Ankara. Russia and Turkey signed an agreement on Moscow's supply of S-400 anti-aircraft missile system to Ankara. Thus, Turkey became the first of the NATO member countries to buy these systems from Russia. This decision by Ankara caused negative reaction from both the United States and the North Atlantic aliens. Since December 2020, the United States had imposed sanctions against Turkey. On November 80 to 20, a scientific conference, the Unrecognized Genocide Dersim 1937-1938, is being held at the University of Duisburg Essen in cooperation with many organizations. The meeting at the university will be broadcast on YouTube and Zoom. The press service of the Vatican News published an article in which it touched upon the aggressive actions of the Azerbaijani side on the eastern border of Armenia on November 14 to 16. In the section Heritage of Art and Culture of the article, it is noted that after last year's ceasefire, along with deep concern for the future thousands of displaced people, the international community showed great attention to the spiritual cultural heritage of the region. It is still considered a central problem today. Clear messages on the protection of the spiritual and cultural heritage of Artsakh began a year ago. Our concern has increased significantly as a result of the repeated bombing of the Ghazan Chetsoj church in Shushi in October, and in particular numerous reports of cases of desecration. In fact, we are talking about 4,000 historical, religious and cultural monuments of Artsakh, which are now under the control of Azerbaijan and each of them is considered a powerful spiritual and cultural heritage. Their disappearance will mean an irreversible loss for humanity, the article says. 
In 2022, the 18th Hachatran International Competition will be held in the cello specialty. The application process has already started. The deadline for the submitting application is 2022, May 10. The competition is open to the cellist aged 16 to 35 years. The aim of the competition is to identify talented young people and make popular Aram Khachatrian's art in the world. It should be noted that Khachatrian's international competition has great recognition throughout the music world. He is member of the World Federation of International Music Competition. The organizer of the competition is the Aram Khachatrian Cultural Foundation. The details of the competition and the procedure for applying can be found at the following link below. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.